Good evening, everyone. I'm Rod Wood. And I'm Christy Casciano. Communities along Lake Ontario getting a visit from the International Joint Commission today as water levels continue to rise, threatening to cause flooding worse than 2017. News Channel 9's Rob Hackford is live in Monroe County this evening. Rob, is any action being taken there? Oh, Rod and Christie, no, that is not going to be the case. There is not a fix coming in 2019, according to the IJC, and that's a huge blow to anybody living along the Lake Ontario shoreline. We're on North Drive, which is just a little bit away from the shoreline, but it's a connected system, and you can see that because these yards are flooded as can be. Again, we're just off the shoreline right now. We can't actually get to Edgemere Drive, which is the direct shoreline for Lake Ontario. That's because it's so flooded, we'd have to walk through that water. Now, it's the IJC's job to monitor water levels and make out flow adjustments based on the entire Great Lakes system. We heard from them today. Currently, those outflows are dictated by Plan 2014, which has been criticized heavily because we are so late in the season. The IJC says any drastic outflow change and deviation from that plan would flood Montreal and Ottawa. I caught up with Fairhaven's deputy mayor from central New York and the mayor of Sodus Point, and both were disappointed by today's meeting and how it unfolded. I don't know about next year. I don't know about the year after. We, we keep looking into modeling to see if there's any way to predict, are we going to have another record precip precipitation? Uh, that's frustrating for me because obviously the, the sooner you get the information, the better you can do something about it. Um, but right now, uh, we're doing everything that we can and everything was done that could have been done in the fall. That, that's that's kind of hard. I mean, I, I was hoping that it should say, uh, we're going to try and let more water out, okay? Uh, uh, that's about all they can do. Yeah, again, the damage is widespread in Oswego County, Cayuga County, Jefferson County even. We're again, we're in Monroe County, Greece right now, and the damage is so it's tremendous. It really is. We are walking through the water and could not believe what we are seeing here. Now, as you heard, the IJC was keen on pointing out how rainy springs have contributed to the problem. But lawmakers insist that mismanagement by the IJC board has also played a factor and they want to rewrite or scrap Plan 2014 altogether, trying to help these neighbors out along the lakeshore. In Greece, Rob Hackford, News Channel 9. Rob, thank